summer tour continues in Pisa as today we're going to discuss Pellegrini saying no to 20 million Saudi bid from Al Nassar respect honor my captain you're probably asking where the leaning tower of pisa is i've never seen it that's what i'm trying to find so conclusion of this video will also end it at the leaning tower of pisa <laughs> thing which i am gonna say is that out of every single roma player Pellegrini is the one who, if he wants to become and follow Totti's footprint and path, he can do it in terms of loyalty, in terms of honor, and in terms of respect. Not Mancini. As much as I would love to say Bove, as of now, I'm not saying Bove, not Zaleski, it's Pellegrini. He's the son of this city. He has given he's been given the responsibility to defend and be the captain of this team the first team of this city and we can fully see this because turning down a 20 million offer is not for everybody the circulation of money of the saudi league they have a plan we've discussed it many times it has to do with tourism it has to do with collaboration the saudis know what they're doing hopefully this bubble will burst just like the chinese league a few years ago but they have a plan they've started this plan in the best way possible and for a player like pellegrini who is not the biggest of players but is an aspiring player 20 million might sound a lot he's got three kids about to have three kids he's got two kids and a wife 20 million can sort him out for the rest of his life and however he's followed his roots he's followed his roots he's kept his roots and he's turned that down and as i just said a player like pellegrini who does doesn't have a limited amount of money he's not like cristiano ronaldo you know he's not he doesn't play for a massive team and his salary isn't massive he is an average player with an average salary and 20 million could have meant a lot to, for him. It could have, just like Milinkovic Savic, it could have basically sorted out his life. However, do we really want to do it? Is what he asked himself. No, this is my city. This is where I belong. I'm continuing to play here. <laughs> which I will definitely add as to why Pellegrini turned down these bids and remained the captain of this team, apart from, you know, the legacy and honor and respect, is because the ownership treated him very well. Now, he was an academy player. He uh, was born uh, in this city. And when I mean born, I really mean it. He grew up as a kid in the Roma Youth and Academy, and he made his way to being the captain of the first team, being loaned out to Sassuolo. Now, what I'm about to say is pretty controversial because Roma have got the best youth team academies in, in Italy, but at the same time, we're very bad when it comes to treating our young players because we sell a lot of them and we don't give chances. You can see this with Volpato, who got sold to Sassuolo, with Misori, with Faticanti yesterday, who asked to be sold. It's a complicated situation. And the fact that we've given Pellegrini chances of, and made him the captain of this team, he understands that he's respected. And that's something very, very important. And then obviously, we have the question which all these players ask themselves when uh, they want to move to Saudi, which is, is the Saudi league attractive? Look, it's definitely becoming more attractive to play in a league with all of these players that they're recruiting. Ronaldo, Benzema, Kante, Milinkovic, Savic. It's becoming more attractive. And apart from the money part, it is becoming more attractive. And it would be a lie to say that it isn't. However, there's a big problem with the Saudi league. The center of the attention of football is not in the Middle East. It was born in Europe, it's going to continue in Europe, and it's forever going to be in Europe. So Ronaldo's wrong with all of those declarations saying that the Saudi League is going to become the centre of Europe in a few decades. That's wrong. The centre of Europe has been, the central football has been Europe for what? Over 100 years now. And it will continue to be that. So the second you move to Saudi, 
not only you are having some repercussions on the Italian national team if you're Pellegrini, because Mancini won't give you a call up, because you're out of the centre of football, and then you're out of, you're just out of the world. You're just out of the football world, uh, out of the lights, out of this big stage. Nobody watches the Saudi league. Apart from, if, apart from you being from Saudi, I don't think anybody here watched Ronaldo play for Onasso, and that's just the way it's gonna continue to be. <laughs> That being said, we've made it. Pellegrini is our captain, and after he refused the 20 million bid, I can only say that if there's one player in this team which deserves that number 10, it's Lorenzo Pellegrini. <laughs> Yeah,